Hey, it's me, Jen Jagger, creative director at Plum Productions, professional video services, and educator extraordinaire at myvideo101.com, the site that teaches you to create your own videos. Today, I wanna to focus on a specific category of videos that I do offer on my YouTube channel, and you should be doing them as well, and that is product reviews. I love product reviews because they can help you grow your audience because people can be searching for information about that product and what do you know, you pop up. So it lets you expose yourself to a whole new range of people. Now there's a couple different types of product review videos you can do generally. One is called first impressions, which is when you on camera, get the product for the first time in your hands, maybe even unbox it in front of the camera, test it out, see how you feel about it, and give your reviews right in front of the camera on the spot. The second type of product review video you could be doing is like a total test drive where you take the product and you really test it out uh, off camera and then you come on camera and give your really thorough thoughts about the product. Now, first impression videos are great because they're really fast to produce, they don't really require any editing, uh, but they're not quite as informative for the viewer. Whereas test drive videos are definitely more informative for the viewer, but they do take a little more work. So just between the two, figure out which is the best fit for you. Now I'm gonna give you my best tips for creating an awesome product review video. There's certain ingredients it needs to have. The first ingredient is to think outside the box. Now in my field, it's obvious I can easily review physical products, right? Like a tripod or a light. But if you're in a different industry, you might not deal with physical products in your work all the time. So think creatively about things you can talk about. For instance, if you're a realtor, maybe you could do a comparison between Zillow.com and Realtor.com and determine as a professional, which one is the one that home buyers should be using. The second ingredient is to show the product on its own without you holding it. Set it up on a smooth surface with a simple background so people can really get an idea of what it looks like, maybe what the scale of the product is. The third ingredient is to show the product in action. If you're talking about the benefits or drawbacks of a product, I wanna see what you're talking about. So if that knob keeps falling off, yeah, I wanna see it. Or if you're glowing about an online platform, use some screen recording software so I can see how easy it is to navigate or how fast it works. The next ingredient is to tell me where I can get it and include pricing. Tell me if you think it was worth the money you spent or if it took a really long time to ship to you. Those are all details I wanna hear. The last ingredient is to do yourself a favor and sign up for Amazon affiliate links. You'll get a custom link to that product on Amazon and when you paste that link below your video in the description box and someone clicks on it to buy it, you get a commission, you cannot beat that. Now you should always be on the lookout for products to review. Personally, I love looking at social media for products to try because I know if they're advertising to me, they're advertising to everybody else as well. And then you can even link to your product review video in the comments of those ads and get a whole new crop of people checking you out. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to my channel and come on over to myvideo101.com for more great DIY video content. I'll see you next Monday.